Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, how are you? How's everything? Good evening. Hi, very well. Okay, great. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Well, um, welcome again. Um, we're going to start the class now, so I'm going to share the screen with you. Vamos a compartir pantalla ya. Veamos. Okay, here we are. Can you see the screen? Everybody? Pueden ver la pantalla? Can you? Okay, great. Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, first things first, I'm going to take the attendance today. So when I call out your name, please say present or you can say here. All right, let's begin. Uh, Ana Patricia Garcia Sanchez. Present. Okay, great. Thank you. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. Okay. Brenda Adriana Mendez. Present. Okay, thank you. Cesar Alexander Lopez. Teacher. Hi, Cesar. Present. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, Elisa Areli Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Hugo Giovanni. Present. Thank you. It is Janet. Present. Present. Thank you. Irving Hiroki Kimura. Present. I'm here. Hi. Thank you. Janet Jacqueline Carcamo. Present. Thank you. Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet Carolina Rivera. No. Okay. Jennifer Noemi Menjivar. Jennifer Noemi Menjivar. Okay. Jocelyn Gabriela. Ah, is, is Jennifer Noemi here? Yes. Okay. Ah, thank you. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez. Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez. No. Jose Aías López Portillo. Present. Okay. Hello. Uh, Jose Francisco Aguilar. Jose Francisco Aguilar. Karen Xiomara López. Karen Xiomara, Karina Yasmin Nuila. Presente. Okay, thank you. Luz Virginia Pérez. Present. Thank you. Melissa Guadalupe Méndez. Melissa Guadalupe Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Lisbeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Roberto Carlos Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Maritza Serrano. Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Selma Yamilet Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Teresa de Jesús Cruz. Present. Thank you. And Victoria Ingrid Leal. Present, Mr. Thank you. Okay. De nuevo al final vamos a pasar asistencia por los que tal vez todavía no se han eh, unido. José Aguilar levantó la mano. José Aguilar. Sí. 
Present teacher, me voy uniendo ahorita. Ah, ya que ok. José. No lo van a iniciar sin una computadora, no sé qué. Ok, José Francisco, right? Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. All right, everybody, we're going to begin now. So uh, let's take a look. Conversation. What's so like? There's a conversation right here. So I want you to listen and practice. Ok. Listen and practice. I'm going to play it now. Here we go. Can you hear that? Yes. Okay, great. Sanhi, this is David Garza. He's a new club member from Mexico. Nice to meet you, David. I'm Sunhi Park. Hi, so you're from Korea? That's right, I'm from Seoul. That's cool. What's Seoul like? It's really nice. It's big and very exciting. Okay. Uh, there are three people Page in this. Three. Oops. Exercise three. Part. Ah. Uh, there's the rest of the conversation. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, there are three people in this conversation. Beth, Sanghee, and David. So there are two girls and one boy. I need three, three volunteers, please, to read this conversation aloud. Who wants to participate? Ana Patricia, Luz Virginia, and... Ok, Karina Nuila, vamos a leer la parte entonces de David, le tocaría a usted. Ok, so... Ok. All right, let's begin. So, we have Ana Patricia, you'll be Beth, quien era... Ah, Luz Virginia, you will be San He. And Karina, you play David's part, please. Let's begin. Ok. Ok. San He... This is David Garza. He is a new club member from Mexico. I'm Sonhi Park. Karina, it's your turn. Hi. Hi. So you're from Korea? That's right. I'm from Seoul. That's cool. What is Seoul like? It's really nice. It's deep and very active. Okay, thank you. Some uh, pronunciation here. The word, this word is, I'm going to zoom in. This word right here is pronounced club. Okay, so son here, this is David Garza. He's a new club member from Mexico. Then let's see, ah, this country, right? It's pronounced Korea. 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 Mm -hmm. Korea. Korea. And finally, this word right here, it's pronounced exciting. So, all right, there is this expression. Look, what's so like? Okay, we have what is, or you can say what are like. Okay, what is, what are like. So, take a look. When, when they ask you what is something like or what are something like, they want a description. Okay, cuando usted le preguntan esto, lo que quieren es una descripción. Si le dicen, por ejemplo, what is El Salvador like? Mm -hmm. Están preguntando, ¿cómo es El Salvador? And you say, ah, El Salvador is a beautiful country, very nice country, very small country also. Okay, so that's the idea. What is? Si ya fuera plural, podemos decir, what are your classmates like? ¿Cómo son tus compañeros? Okay, so, son bien inteligentes. They are very smart. They are very talkative. Okay. That's the idea. So when you ask the question, what is something like, or what are some things like, you are asking for a description. That's the idea. Cuidado de no confundir, porque aquí like no es un verbo, okay? It says like, como en español, como, como es, okay? No es lo que le gusta a la persona, aunque a veces he visto a uh, gente que se confunde con esta pregunta y piensan que le está preguntando qué es lo que le gusta, pero no, no tiene nada que ver. Okay, it's a description. 
what is El Salvador like? It's a beautiful country, right? It's a small country, etc., etc. So when David asks, what's soul like? Está preguntando, ¿cómo es? ¿Verdad? And so he says, it's really nice. It's big and very exciting. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Do you have any questions about vocabulary? No? No, 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 I, no questions. That what, is great. What is it? Yes. Yes. What is the meaning the Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of Seoul? Seoul? Ah, Seoul is the capital of Korea. Mm -hmm. ah, it's the name ah, of the okay. city. Uh -huh. It's the capital ah, of okay. Korea, Seoul. Mm -hmm. Seoul. Okay. All right. So uh, let's continue. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What city is David from and what is it like? ¿De dónde es y cómo es? Let's listen to it. Exercise three. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What city is David from? What's it like? So David, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Really? What city? Mexico City. Wow! What's it like there? Oh, it's a very interesting city. Is it big? Oh yes, it's big, but I like it a lot. Okay. So, where is David from? He's from Me Mexico. He's from Mexico. Where specifically? Mexico City. Mexico City. Okay. All right. Very good. Janet wants to participate. Janet? Uh, the microphone. El micrófono lo tiene desactivado. Ahí está. La respuesta iba a dar, pero ya la dieron. Ah, bueno. Ok. Ajá. Bueno, ¿y qué tal la siguiente? Veamos. What is it like? What is Mexico City like? Oh, it's big. It's and big interesting. and interesting. Correct. Ok. Correct. Correct answer. Ok. So, David is from Mexico City and the city is big and interesting. Very good. Ok. All right. Oops. Fui de paso ahí. Lo siento. <laughs> Esto ya estaba desde ayer. Okay, so um, let's go with number four. Pronunciation, linked sounds. Listen and practice. Final consonant sounds are often linked. Okay, se unen. They are often linked to the vowels that follow them. I want you to listen and check the linking sounds. Oops, wrong track. This is the right one. I'm a new club member. Sun He is over there. My name is Elizabeth Silva. Okay, if you notice, the sounds uh, are joined together. Okay, there is no stop in between the words. No hay ninguna pausa entre las palabras. No decimos, I'm a new club member, sino, I'm a, I'm a new club member. Como si fuera una sola palabra. I'm a new club member. The second one. Son, he is over there. Is over. Is over. Son, he is over there. No decimos, son, he is over there. No hay pausa, sino que se dice de una sola vez. Son, he is over there. And the last one. My name is Elizabeth Silva. My name is Elizabeth Silva. No hay ninguna pausa entre las palabras. Name is Elizabeth. Okay, so that's the pronunciation, the linked sounds. Um, ahorita, si gusta, con el micrófono apagado, ¿verdad? Puede repetir en su casa. Voy a decir las oraciones y usted las puede repetir si lo desea, ¿verdad? I'm a new club member. I'm a new club member. Son, he is over there. Son, he is over there. And... My name is Elizabeth Silva. My name is Elizabeth Silva. Okay, those are linked sounds. Let's continue. Lesson objective. Okay, we have a new objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand 
and use possessive adjectives, my, your, his, her, its, our, and their, in order to introduce their names and to express possession. Al final de esta lección, los participantes serán capaces de entender y usar adjetivos posesivos, como mi, tu, su, nuestros, para presentar sus nombres e indicar la posesión. Entonces, ¿cómo va esto acá? Eh, me comentan, y yo también ya lo comprobé, ¿verdad? Que hay un problema ahorita para ver los videos que están desde la plataforma. Entonces, no se ven. Ya yo también estuve eh, intentándolo. También yo eh, ya, ya lo comenté, pero creo que todavía no se le ha podido dar solución al problema. Probablemente es un poco más técnico de lo que parece. De cualquier manera, el contenido que aparece ahí es técnicamente el mismo que vamos a estar viendo en clase. Así que, si ustedes tienen duda, pueden siempre referirse al video que, vamos a estar, que voy a estar subiendo al final de cada clase porque esa información aparece justo acá. O sea, todo lo que está en el manual igual aparece aquí e igual lo explico yo. Así que si en dado caso usted no puede ver los videos de la plataforma, pues digamos que una versión alterna de ellos está aquí en clase. Lo vemos en clase y además lo puede ver después. Se lo pierde, bueno, igual lo puede ver después, ¿verdad? So here we go. Grammar focus. Statements with be possessive adjectives. So, so we have the verb be. The verb be basically has two meanings, right? In Spanish, there are two verbs. In English, there is only one. So what about the verb be? What are the two meanings in Spanish? The verb be. Tiene dos significados en español. ¿Cuáles son? Ser o estar. Ser o estar. Ser o estar. That is correct. Ser o estar. So when you say I am is yo soy o yo estoy. Okay. When you say you are, that's tú eres o tú estás o ustedes, usted está. So statements with the verb be. You can say, for example, I'm from Mexico. Okay. You're from Brazil. He is from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Just remember, when the subject I, you use am. When the, for the subjects he, she, and it, we use is. And for the subjects you, we, and they, we use are. And there are contractions. The contractions of the verb be. I am becomes I'm. You are becomes your. He is becomes his. She is becomes she's. It is becomes its. We are becomes we're. They are becomes their. Okay? And then there is the possessive adjective. The possessive adjective indicates possession. Indica a quien le pertenece algo o... Eh, en relación directa con quién está. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, si estoy hablando de mi mamá, yo digo my mother. Así de fácil. My mother. Ok, si estamos hablando de su casa, la casa que le pertenece a usted es your house. Ok, si estamos hablando de la hermana de alguien, de un muchacho, de un hombre, his sister. Ok, si estamos hablando del de papá de una señorita, decimos her father. Ok, si estamos hablando del nombre de una ciudad, decimos its name. Ok, si estamos hablando de nuestra ciudad, la ciudad en la que vivimos, decimos our city. Si estamos hablando de la universidad, de un grupo de personas aparte, decimos their university. Algo que nos tiene que quedar muy en claro acerca de los possessive adjectives es que van en función del poseedor, no de la persona o el objeto con quien se tiene esa relación directa. Les digo esto porque eh, muchas veces he visto yo el error, más que todo en exámenes, que la gente dice, por ejemplo, escriba aquí su, el, el possessive adjective que toca. Y ven algo como mother y dicen, ah, mother, entonces es una mujer. Entonces, como es una mujer, le vamos a poner her. En realidad no depende de eso. Depende de quién es la mamá, ¿verdad? Entonces, puede ser mi mamá, yo digo my mother. Pero si es la mamá de usted, entonces yo digo your mother. Y así consecutivamente. Si somos hermanos todos, decimos, ah, nuestra madre. Entonces, our mother. El possessive adjective cambia en función del poseedor no del sustantivo 
que, que le siga. De acuerdo, así que hay que tener mucho cuidado con eso. Be very careful. Okay, the, again, the possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, its, our, and their. Por ahí Selma tiene un visitante. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Complete these sentences, then tell a partner about yourself. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Vamos a, a resolver este ejercicio directamente sin ir a los breakout rooms. Eh, solamente les quiero pedir cuando quieran participar siempre levanten la mano. ¿De acuerdo? Porque si no me levantan la mano, entonces todo el mundo habla a la vez y yo no sé ni quién está hablando. ¿verdad? Y eso nos confunde un poco. <risa> nos confunde un poco y además frustra un poco a los que sí están levantando la mano porque se quedan nada más con la gana de participar. Así que... Si desea participar, por favor, presione el botoncito y levante su mano virtual. ¿Ok? All right. Complete these sentences, then tell a partner about yourself. Number one is, my name is David Garza. Ah, by the way, this is the same exercise that you can find in the platform. Este es el mismo ejercicio que está en la plataforma. ¿Verdad? Así que si lo resolvemos ahorita, lo resolvemos de una sola vez. So, my name is David Garza. I'm from Mexico. Who wants to continue? Number one. Okay, Cesar. My family is in Mexico City. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Uh, Cesar. My brother. Mm. My brother is the equivalent of he. So, my brother. University student. Uh, His can you, can, name is Carlos. My brother is a university student. His name is Carlos. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Cesar. The, the next one, Janet Jacqueline Carcamo. And number three, Hugo Giovanni. Okay, let's do it. Her name is Sunhi Park. Ah, but take a look at this. It reads, I am 20 years old. So. Es ella la que está hablando. Uh, uh, my name. My name uh -huh. is Sunki Park. Uh -huh. I'm right. 20 years old. My sister is a student here. Uh -huh. Two. Our parents are in Korea right now. Our parents are in Korea right now. Y he puesto mal una letra yo. Okay, our parents are in Korea right now. Very good. Thank you, Janet. Excellent. Uh, Hugo Giovanni, please. Okay. Uh, my, uh, is, uh, I, Elizabeth, but every Everyone? calls me. <clears throat> Escucha. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Everyone. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I am, I am Elizabeth, mm -hmm. but every. Everyone? Because every, La everyone, every, Ajá, everyone, everyone, mm -hmm. everyone, sorry, everyone comes, comes to my bed. Mm -hmm. My last, my, my last name, name uh -huh. is Silvia. Sil Silva. Silva, Silva, mm -hmm. no, Silva. Mm -hmm. uh, um, um, I am, I am a student at study and city college, my parents. Uh, it, no, it's my. Mm -mm. My parents is the equivalent of they. They. they, they. Uh -huh. they. So my parents. They. Cuidado. They are, no podemos they are. decir, hay que tener cuidado aquí porque si decimos my parents, y luego decimos, there, hay un problema. Estamos repitiendo el sujeto cuando decimos my parents y cuando decimos they. Entonces, solo puede ir uno o puede ir el otro. Como ya está my parents, entonces vamos a decir my parents. Solamente, el, ajá, solamente el verb be falta ahí. My parents are on vacation this are, week. Uh, 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 uh -huh. Are on vacation this weekend. Mm -hmm. This, this week. week. And the last one? Sorry, no lo veo. Ah, bueno, vamos a 
Hacerlo más grande. Ok. Mm -hmm. My parents are on vacation this week. And the last one? Uh, in Los Angeles, I am a <laughs> ok. Hoy sí, me puede decir la que me dijo la vez anterior. There. There, there in Los Angeles. Aquí sí, porque no los in ha mencionado Angeles. en esta oración. Aquí sí puede decir uh, they are in there. Los Angeles. Uh -huh. okay. They're in Los Angeles. Thank you, Hugo. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's continue. There is an extra exercise. This is not in the material. Hiroki. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, sure, what's your ejemplo, question? No sé si podría retroceder la... Mm -hmm. la eh, para, ajá, este, entonces, digamos, si yo lo estoy contando, digamos aquí, his name is Carlos. Mm -hmm. su, su nombre es Carlos, pero si yo lo estoy contando, entonces sería your name is Carlos, ¿no? Su nombre es Carlos. No, porque por, yo lo estoy ajá. contando, porque ya no sería mío, ¿verdad? Sino que lo estoy contando como una persona aparte. Your name is Carlos. Su nombre es Carlos. No, no, en realidad no. Your se utiliza para el subject pronoun you. En otras palabras, en este momento yo estoy hablando con usted, por ejemplo. Entonces, para referirme a cosas que le pertenezcan a usted, entonces yo puedo decir your. Por ejemplo, esos lentes que tiene, digo your glasses. Esa camisa blanca que tiene, your t-shirt. Esa silla en la que está sentado, eh, Creo que es de usted también. Entonces digo yo, your chair, Ajá. your house, ¿verdad? Así es, pero en el caso estoy hablando de el hermano, mi hermano, pero no estoy hablando con él, estoy hablando de él. Entonces ya se vuelve he. Por esa razón digo, his name is Carlos. Es su nombre, o okay. sea, el de él es Carlos. ¿Ok? All right. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so um, let's continue. Choose the correct responses. Letter number one says, hi, I'm Nicole. B, you have two options. Oh, hi, I'm Michael. Or what do people call you? There is only one logical response and that's, oh, hi, I'm Michael. What about number two? You can raise your hands. My name is Young Hoon Park. Who wants to participate? What's the logical response? Michelle Diaz, then Brenda, then Ana Patricia, then Jennifer, then Melissa, then Cesar. Okay, todo mundo quiere participar. Maravilloso. Okay, uh, Michelle, den la manita levantada para que no se me olvide el orden. Number two. Number two. Uh, sería nice to meet you, Young Hoon. Nice to meet you, Young Hoon. Thank you, Michelle. Very good. Okay, uh, for the next one, Adri Brenda Adriana. Hello, I'm a new club member. Um, Seria, welcome. Welcome, yes. Okay, thank you, Brenda. Very good. Ana Patricia, number four. I'm sorry, what's your name again? The microphone. Joe King. Joe King. Correct. Very good. Thank you, Ana Patricia. Uh, Jennifer Noemi, number five. How do you spell your first name? Sería. Deletrearlo, Antonio. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería? Lo deletreo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Yes. Sería A N S. Sí, creo. Sí. O. I. O. A. N. T. O. N. I. O. Ok. That's right. Very good. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, Melissa, number six. What do people call you? Everyone calls me Ken. That is correct. Ok. Thank you, Melissa. Eh, nos quedamos aquí con unos compañeros, pero sigan los ejercicios, así que no se preocupen. Ok. Complete this conversation with am, are, or is. Just the verb be. 
you have who are the men over there? Amy, you say who are, okay, because you have the men, plural. Who are the men over there, Amy? And Amy says, oh, they, who wants to try? Hugo, do you want to try? Are. They are on the volleyball team. Thank you, Hugo. Let me introduce you. Hi, Sura, Sura Chai, Sura Kai. No sé cómo se pronuncia. A saber de dónde es ese nombre. So this uh, volunteer, please. <laughs> okay, Brenda. Um, is. This is Lisa Nelly. Okay. And then Sura, vamos a decir que se pronuncia Surakai, digamos. Surakai says, nice to meet you, Lisa. Lisa says, nice to meet you too. Where? Volunteer, please. Jocelyn. Where are you from? Where are you from? Okay, very good. Thank you. Surakai says, I. Raise your hand, please. Teresa. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. okay. It's okay, don't worry. You just let's remember, let's raise the hand. So Teresa and then Cesar, then Roberto. Okay, Teresa? I am from Thailand. I am from Thailand. Okay, thank you, Teresa. Then uh, Cesar, Amy, and this? And this is Mario. This is Mario, thank you. Roberto, Carlos, he? Uh, the microphone, Roberto. Tiene el micrófono desactivado. Sorry. Okay. He is from Brazil. He is from Brazil. Okay, there you go. And Lisa says, hi, Mario. Okay, very good. All right. That is very, very good. Let's continue. Bueno, esto, este tema no creo que no es nuevo para nadie, ¿verdad? Es el verb ya lo vieron también en los módulos básicos. Es solo un repaso, por lo tanto, no lo vamos a a quedar mucho tiempo ahí, ¿verdad? Ya, ya lo repasamos, ya hicimos algunos ejercicios, eh, así que continuamos. What about the next lesson objective? So by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions with B using WH question words like what, who, where, when, and how. Al final de esta lección, los participantes serán capaces de hacer y contestar preguntas usando el verbo be, que es el ser o estar, acompañado de pronombres y adverbios interrogativos, como qué, quién, dónde, cuándo y cómo. Ok, so what is that? It's the next section. WH questions with be. Ok, nothing difficult. You have questions like, what's your name? Where's your friend? Whose son he? What are your classmates like? ¿Se acuerdan lo que vimos al principio? What are your classmates like? ¿Cómo son tus compañeros? Where are you and Luisa from? How are your classes? I'm going to play the track. I want you to listen to the questions and read the responses. Let's listen. Grammar focus. WH questions with B. What's your name? My name's Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Whose son he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They're very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They're really interesting. Okay. There you go. So remember, oops. Ay, 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 este mouse, tengo que conseguirme otro. Ya lo perdí, aquí está. Okay. You have, what's your name? Okay, what's your name? Recordemos siempre que en inglés se utiliza el WH word, what. Decimos, what is, para preguntar el nombre de alguien. No es como en español que decimos, ¿cómo te llamas? No decimos how en inglés, sino siempre es what is. What's your name? Where's your friend? Where? The question word for a place. Who is son he? Who? The question word for a person. What are your classmates like? Okay. Where are you and Luisa from? How are your classes? ¿Cómo son tus clases? So, 
uh, nothing new right here. Let's complete the questions, then practice with a partner. Number one is, who is that? Oh, that's Miss West. Then if we continue the conversation, we have number two, who wants to try? Cesar. Where is she from? Where is she from? Correct, very good. You can say, where is she from or where's she from? Okay, very good. She's from Miami. Uh, Hugo, number three. Uh, Seria, who is her first name, I said? Uh, who is? No, um, what's, what's, uh -huh, uh -huh. what's, what's, What's her first name or what is her first name? That is correct. Thank you, Google. Very good. Number four, who wants to try? Yeah, que participen. Solo que veo las mismas personas hablando siempre. Ajá. No, genial que levante la mano. No, no me baje la manita. <ríe> genial que participen. Me encanta que participen. Sin embargo, les hago la invitación a los demás que también, ¿verdad? Eh, hablemos. Eh, lo que les decía yo ayer, ¿verdad? Para aprender bien el idioma, tenemos que utilizar toda la oportunidad que tengamos para practicarlo, para producirlo. Esa es la mejor manera. Así que, si no estamos participando, pues, de nuevo, está la atenta invitación a que lo haga. Como discutimos ayer, es uno de los puntos de la clase, la participación activa de los estudiantes. Michelle, number four, please. And then Karen Xiomara, number five. Uh, sería, host the two student cover sheet. Can you repeat it, please? Host the two student over two. Okay, good. But there is one thing, the two students. If you see the examples who, here, who are. who are the two students over there? Correct, because we're talking about two people. Mm -hmm. Who are the two students over there? Their names are Jeremy and Karen. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Number five, Karen Xiomara. Mm. Where are you? Look, they from, we're talking about Jeremy and Karen, two people. They from, there's Vancouver, Canada, es mm -hmm. de donde vienen. Así Entonces, es, sin embargo, la pregunta uh -huh, no es, sería. Ajá, no es where uh -huh. is, ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no puede ser where is. Si se fija, Who are? tenemos they. No podemos utilizar es con el subject pronoun they. Es únicamente es para he, she o it. Ok. Entonces tendríamos que ocupar. Uy. Si ve lo, los ejemplos acá, ahí puede encontrar uno muy parecido. Mm. Sería entonces WhatsApp. Mm, no, not really. <laughs> A bit different. No, don't worry, don't worry. But who can help Karen here? Uh, Hugo, can you help her? What's? What's? Uh, no, What's? not possible. Sorry. <laughs> Francisco? Where are? Where, Where are, are they, they from? from? Yeah, that's They're right. From Where Vancouver. are they from? Así es. Entonces, aquí nada más hay que tener cuidado, ¿verdad? La respuesta inicial había sido, where is they from? Pero tiene que ser, where are? Porque el sujeto es they. Entonces, en concordancia con el verb be, que corresponde al sujeto they, es they are. Por lo tanto, where are they from? 
OK? They're from Vancouver, Canada. Aquí lo tienen también, ¿verdad? They are. So they're from Sorry. Vancouver. Sorry. No it's, no, it's fine. It's fine. No problem. No hay problema. Eh, si nos equivocamos, así aprendemos también. No hay ningún problema. OK. Uh, Jennifer, number six. Jennifer? Noemi? Ay, sorry. Ok. <laughs> Who are? No sé si es eso. Who are? Uh -huh. mm, no, we, we want to... Um, they want a description. Look, they are shy, but very friendly. So what is the question? Do you remember? Espera. <laughs> Aquí se ve los ejemplos. Hay una muy parecida. I'm sorry? What are they like? What are they like? Okay, thank you. Who said that? That was Pamela, right? Yes. Okay, all right, thank you. What are they like? They are shy, but very friendly. Okay, me está preguntando cómo son. What are they like? They are shy, but very friendly. Okay, that's the idea. So... Tenemos acá el chat. Híjole. Ok. Next. Now, what are we going to do here? Put the words in order to make questions. Then answer the questions. Example. Who's that? ¿Quién es ese? Who's that? Oh, that's my teacher. So the first one you have name, what's last her. So what's her last name? Her last name is, y usted puede decir un apellido ahí, que se le ocurra. Okay, so what about number two? Who wants to try number two? Tenemos uh, manitas levantadas, no sé si me quieren participar o si no la habían bajado nada más. Okay, uh, César, then Teresa, then Brenda, then Melissa, then sí. Ana. Okay. So, uh, Cesar, number two. What her first name? What's her first name? Okay, that's right. And how can you answer this? ¿Cómo pueden contestar esto? What's her first name? Por darme un ejemplo, ¿cómo podríamos decir? Ibimbin. <laughs> so, sorry? Uh -huh. Maybe Teresa can help us. Teresa, what's her first name? ¿Cómo podríamos contestar? Así como aparece acá, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. What's her last name? Her last name is Navarrete. Her okay. first name. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Her first name is Cruz. But Cruz is a last name, not a first name. Bueno, sí, hay, hay, hay mujeres que se llaman Cruz. Ya he conocido una, de hecho. <laughs> ya me acordé. Bueno, acaba de, ref, acaba de refutarme. <ríe> Vaya, sí, es posible. Existe el nombre Cruz también, ahora que lo pienso. Aunque normalmente es un apellido, pero bueno. Her first name is Cruz, digamos. Ok. All right. Uh, Teresa, do you want to uh, take number three? Uh, where is from your teacher? Mm, not exactly. No. Maybe Melissa can help us. What is your teacher from? Where is your teacher from? Uh -huh. More like that. Where is your teacher from? Thank you. And Melissa, how can you answer this question? My teacher mm -hmm. is from? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My teacher is from? Uh -huh. El Salvador. El Salvador. Okay, you can say my teacher is from El Salvador. Okay, good. Thank you, Melissa. Ana Patricia, what about number four? Ana Patricia. Quedó congelada ahí. No veo movimiento en la pantalla. Okay, uh, Sandra Serrano, number four. Oh, sí, ya veo que se mueve Ana Patricia. Ana Patricia, can you hear me? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. What about number four? 
how is your class English? Mm, how is how, your? How was? Uh, how is your English class? Aha! Uh -huh. How is your English class? Good. How can you answer this? How is your English class? My English class. My English class is very interesting. My English class is very interesting. Okay. You can say my English class is good, it's okay, it's very interesting, etc. Okay, thank you, Ana Patricia. Very good. Next is for Sandra Serrano, number five. What are your classmates like? That is correct. What are your classmates like? How can you answer that? Uy, casi no le escucho, no sé si solo soy yo. Sí, no. Sería, sería, no, aquí le voy a dar un poquito más de volumen. Sería, vamos a ver. Las like is. Not exactly. Cuando decimos my classmates es el equivalente de they. Entonces decimos my classmates y luego el verb be. ¿Quién nos ayuda acá? Jennifer are. Noemi, ah, my classmates are, y ahí ya me puede decir cómo son los compañeros. ¿Cómo, cómo son los compañeros? No sé. Ah, ¿Quién puede completar la oración aquí? Dynamic. Dynamic, ok, dynamic. Yeah, that's a good adjective. Ok, my classmates are dynamic. You can say, I'm going to show it to you. My classmates are smart. My classmates are talkative. My classmates are shy. My classmates are quiet, et cetera, et cetera. My classmates are nice, et cetera, right there. Okay, very good. Next exercise. This is also extra. Look at the answers. What are the questions? You have, the answer is, my first name's Bob. So the question is, what's your first name? Okay. What about number two? Who wants to try? Ahí Jennifer, no sé si quiere participar o si no me había bajado la manita. <ríe> ok. Uh, Brenda, then Melissa, number two. What's last name? What's your last name? What's, What's your last your name? name? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My last name's Hayes. Ok, thank you, Brenda. Uh, Melissa, number three. What? I'm sorry. Tenía la de arriba, teacher. Ah, la de arriba es la que quería usted. Okay, no problem, no problem. Francisco is going to help us. Francisco. Who's your Who's your wife? Who's your wife? That's my wife. Aunque sí es posible. Um, creo que sería más natural contestar eso diciendo algo como my wife is over there. Mi esposa está por allá, ¿verdad? Entonces, en vez de preguntar quién es la esposa, creo que la pregunta sería un poquito diferente. Vamos a ver, ¿qué nos dice Melissa? Melissa. Who's ah. your, your wife? Ah, perdón. Eh, usted había participado, pero como cambió a la, a la, a la fotito, pensé que... Lo siento. <laughs> okay, who's your wife? Es parecido a lo que nos dijo, ¿verdad, Francisco? Veamos, José Aías. I think it's who is she. Who is she? Okay, mm -hmm. it's possible to say who is she. You say that's my wife. It's possible. It is possible. You can say that. But there are alternatives. Hay alternativas también. Another possible question? I don't know. Who is that? Who is that? Yeah. Uh, ¿Quién dijo eso? Who said that? Ah, Selma. Hi. Okay. All right. So, who is that? You can say, who is that lady? También, como dijo José, who is she? Okay. 
Tendría que apuntarle ahí con el dedo, ¿verdad? Who is she? Okay, good. Bob says, that's my wife. Okay, what about the next one? Number four, who wants to try? Mm -hmm. No sé si sería, what's her name? What's her name? Uh -huh. Saber. Yes. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> or what is your wife's name? Puede ser también. Okay, very good. Her name is Rosa. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Brenda and then Cesar. Brenda, number five. Uh, sería, where are you from? But if you see the answer, she is from Mexico. <laughs> so what's the question? And where are um, his... <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see, Hiroki. Uh, creo que sería, where is your from? Where, if, where, where are you from, creo? Donde okay. ella? Ah, uh -huh, but the, the, the answer is, she is from Mexico. So, where is? Where is Rosa? Her. Donde es su? Mm -hmm. Where is? Where is she? Where from. is she? From. Okay. From. Uh, uh, alguien me está participando, pero no veo quién es. Karen Xiomara. Okay. Sí. Where is she from? <laughs> okay, it's okay. Where is she from? Mm -hmm. ¿De dónde es ella? Where is she from? The answer is, she's from Mexico. Okay, uh, Benjamín, Alejandro, number six. Uh, maybe it could be, who are they? Who are they? Yeah, who are they? Or who are those people? ¿Quiénes son ellos, right? Who are they? Who are those okay. people? The answer is, they're my wife's parents. My parents-in-law, Okay. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. So, who are they or who are those people? They are my wife's parents. Son los padres de mi esposa. Good. And there is yet another exercise that we can do to practice. Okay, what about this? Aquí vamos a practicar los possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, uh, it's, our, and their. Okay. They're my classmates, okay? Their names are Kate and Noriko. So your two options are they or their, okay? En algunos casos va a ser el subject pronoun, como they. En otros casos va a ser el possessive adjective, como their, okay? So um, number two, Jennifer, no sé si me quería participar. Sería there. Okay, yeah, but that's the example there. What about number two? We are students, blah, blah, blah. Classroom number is 108C. Our uh, or we? Uh, our. Our classroom <laughs> number. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Victoria Ingrid, number three. Can you read the sentence? Uh, yes. Excuse me. What's your last name again? What's your last name again? Okay. Again. Normalmente preguntamos esto con again cuando ya se lo dijeron a uno, pero uno se le olvidó o no lo escuchó bien. Entonces uno dice, what's your last name again? Ya me dijo, pero se me olvidó, ¿verdad? Entonces, what's your last name again? Thank you, Victoria. Good. Ana Patricia, number four. Can you read the Eso sentence? Eso me suele suceder. <laughs> <laughs> Pasa, ¿verdad? Que uno se le va la piscucha, como decimos en, el, en buen salvadoreño. Okay. So, okay. number four. That's, that's Dijon. He is, my, he is in my class. He is in my class. He okay. Is. He is in my class. Good. Thank you. Melissa, number five. Mm -hmm. My, uh, My name your... is Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Please tell Melissa. 
Please yes. call me Liz. Mm -hmm. My name is Elizabeth. Please call me Liz. Thank you, Elisa. Benjamin, number six. Okay, and um, that is her. This is Paul's wife. Her name is Jennifer. This is Paul's wife. Her name is Jennifer. That is correct. Thank you, Benjamin. Sandra, You're welcome. number seven. Okay. Uh -huh, my parents are on vacation. They, they. Uh -huh. they, they, they are in South Korea. Okay. Yeah. My parents are on vacation. They are in South Korea. Very good. Michelle, number eight. Primero, ¿cómo se pronuncia Venecia? Ah, Venice. Venice. I'm from Venice, Italy. It is a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. That is correct. Okay, very good. All right. Siempre acordémonos, bajamos la manita para que no se les canse. <laughs> no, bajemos la manita para que, porque después no, me confundo yo y pienso, no sé si quiere participar otra vez o si se le olvidó bajarla. ¿verdad? Así que siempre hay que eh, volver a presionar el botón para bajarla. Ok, good. I have a question. Yes. Eh, Pamela. Yes. Why and uh, on the word eight is it because I'm from Venice, ah, Italy. Tiene, yes, tiene es razón. it. Yes. Tiene razón, no me había fijado. <laughs> ahí, está el, ahí está el verb ya puesto. Yes, so I'm it's sorry. only it. Solo yeah. it. Uh, it is a beautiful okay. city. No había fijado que ya estaba el verb ahí. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Hice a propósito para ver si se fijaba. No, mentira. Me equivoqué. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sí, tiene razón. Ahí se me había, se me había ido. Se me fue la onda, como decimos. <laughs> De nuevo, otra vez hablando con salvador, salvadoreñismos. Okay. It is a beautiful city. Okay. Esto pasa cuando uno hace esto casi a medianoche. No mira bien las palabras. All right. So, um, what is next is 8.58. So, we need to take attendance once again. Okay. Muy buena observación ahí de Pamela, ¿verdad? Eh, sería, it is a beautiful city. No, it's, porque si no se repite el verb. Okay. We're going to uh, take the attendance once again. Aquí rapidito. Los que no me habían contestado al principio, tenemos Benjamín Alejandro Quijada, me parece que por ahí anda, ¿verdad? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet? No? Okay. Uh, Jocelyn Gabriela Martínez Martínez. Present. Okay, thank you. Karen Xiomara Lopez Rivera. Present, teacher. Okay, hello. Uh, Sandra Maritza Serrano Barahona. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So, what is next? Vamos a ver esto. The snapshot. Greetings from around the world. This is how you greet people. Okay. For example, in the United States, a handshake is common. What is a handshake? This is a handshake. Un apretón de manos, right? Okay, that's a handshake. What about this one? A bow. What about a bow? That's a reverence. Mm-hmm. From where? Where is this common? In China. Okay, Cesar, Cesar wants to participate. A rato veo que, que, que levanta la mano. <laughs> Korea, okay, China, also Japan, Taiwan, in general, in Asia. Okay, so there are several countries where this is common. Let's say Japan right here, but it's also common in China, in Korea, Taiwan, all those. 
What about the next one? A kiss on the cheek, okay? Where is that common? Mm -hmm. In Spain. In Spain, yes, okay. Where else? Donde más? Um, Francisco? Maybe French? Yeah, the French. Yeah, that's true. The French kiss each other in the cheek. That's true. And many countries. Okay. El Salvador, for example. In El Sal Sorry, in El Salvador, it's common. Okay. Oye, no, no tanto últimamente, por eso el COVID, ¿verdad? Pero por excelencia, sí. Okay. Eso pasa seguido. Okay. In Brazil, this is very common, right? In Spain, in France. Okay. This is common. So uh, the next one, you have a hug. Where is this common? Karen Xiomara. Karen? Creo que quedó congelada ahí la, la cámara. Okay, who wants to try this one? A hug, where, is, where are hugs common? A hug? <laughs> Dice, que ya son las nueve, teacher, ya no quieren participar. Las nueve y uno. <laughs> ok, Ana Patricia. A hug is a abrazo. Mm -hmm. But where is it uh, common? Which country? For example, a handshake is common in the United States. A bow is common in Japan. A kiss on the cheek is common in Brazil. What about a hug? Where is it common? In El Salvador is very common. In El Salvador, this is very common. Generally in Latin America, okay, hugs are common. Let's say Mexico, for example, El Salvador, as you mentioned too. And what about this one? A pat on the back. Una palmada en la espalda. Okay, where is this common? Any ideas? This is common, well, um, I'm not sure, okay, but I investigated a little bit and uh, they say it's common in Russia, apparently, okay. Uh, Hiroki wanted to participate. But it is also common in El Salvador. In El Salvador it's common too, yeah. Sometimes yes. you yes. pat people in the back, okay. Yeah, that happens. Okay, very good. And also so, the COVID around the world. Also, I'm sorry? Yeah. And after the COVID around the world. Yeah, totally. That is true. So because of COVID, you said, right? A pat in the back is more common now. Okay, good. This is vocabulary, right? Again, a handshake. Esto es vocabulario, ¿verdad? Handshake, un apretón de mano. A bow, ¿verdad? una reverencia. A kiss on the cheek, right? You have a kiss on the cheek, right? A hug, un abrazo, and a pat on the back. Okay, some vocabulary for you. We're going to stop right here because it's 9-3. Tenemos aquí el chat. Aquí me dice, no sé si veo mi mensaje, teacher, pero a mí se me, me da bastante problema. Dije presente, pero no me oye. Jan Janet Carolina, okay. Vamos a ver, Janet Carolina. Ah, vaya, qué bien que me avisa porque ya la había puesto ahí ausente. No, hoy lo pongo presente. Ya lo cambié a Janet Carolina. Okay. Creo que eh, les falla un poquito el internet a algunos o el micrófono, no estoy seguro. Si es el caso, entonces tenemos asistencia completa el día de hoy. Ok, uh, siempre recordemos esto. Uno de los requisitos para este programa es tener la cámara encendida. Así que, por favor, eh, tratemos en la medida de lo posible de, de encenderla, ¿verdad? Porque es, es necesario, ¿verdad? Eso también cuenta. No I am sé... so sorry because, as I told you, uh -huh. I was in an event. Ah, you were in an event. Okay, no problem. Yeah. But you are here. That's the important part. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Okay, everybody. We're going to stop here. Tomorrow we'll continue with uh, the yes-no questions with the verb be. Vamos a seguir con yes-no questions y haremos todo lo posible por terminar la primera unidad. Y así el día jueves comenzamos ya la segunda, ¿verdad? Ok, everybody, thank you for your attention and for your participation. 
Um, I'll see you tomorrow at eight. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.